At a rally in Albany today, workers came out to support Governor Cuomo's proposal to raise minimum wage from $7.25 an hour to $8.75. If the owner of this Syracuse moving company was there, he'd be marching right along with them. I'd be uh, pro uh, wage increase. I think it's been long overdue. Here at Delaney Moving and Storage, the immediate impact of the $1.50 increase wouldn't really be felt here because they already pay above minimum wage, but the long-term impact is inevitable. Over time, what will happen is uh, employees will start to come back to, uh, to us and say, hey, you know, we, we need to see pay increases as well because now the margin between what we currently pay and a raised increased minimum wage will narrow up. But the owner of Markowitz Flowers fears this would be a big jump at one time. It will be difficult. Some people say, well, $1.50 an hour, that's not really that bad. But when you have to multiply that by 10 people or 50 people, it adds up very quickly. Back at the moving company, while Delaney supports the boost, he believes everyone should pay into the system. Don't get me wrong, though. I believe that the other side of that coin is that everyone, including those that are making minimum wage, should be paying in taxes into the system. As business owners, raising wages seems to be a double-edged sword. It's something they'd like to do, but not necessarily something they feel they can do and still stay in business. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Dora Scheidel.